It's crazy o'clock. Sleep has eluded me, so what better time than to put this video together here and hope that we can learn valuable lessons. There's this story that's really, uh, really doing the rounds on social media. It's trending lots. And it's a story about a young woman who is a nurse called Cute Melody, who is dating this guy called James, who is now calling himself Young Don. Now what happened is that Melody took loans from the bank and other people to sponsor this young man called James, her boyfriend, to be able to travel to the States. She helped him with his documents, his visas, his tickets and everything. And as soon as Young Don a.k.a. James, arrives to the U.S. <laughs> He's forgotten all about Melody, cute Melody, and has found somebody else, blocked Melody of all contacts, all social media handles, and doesn't want anything to do with her anymore. Out of frustration, the pain, and knowing that she has debts to pay, and the guy refusing to play ball. 50,000 Ghana CDs is the equivalent of about 6,000 Canadian dollars, about four and a half or five US thousand US dollars. So it's not chicken change. It's a lot of money. Out of desperation, and with the guy teasing her, saying all kinds of horrific things to her, insulting her about her being a whore, um, telling her that he's met better a better woman out there in the States and teasing her by showing her his current environment, by spinning his camera around and hailing all kinds of insults at her. The young woman took to the gods of the land <laughs> of Africa and rain down all kinds of curses on him, that you will never be well with him, ever, and that he had to pay the money back. We've had these stories one too many times. In this particular one, it's a man who turned his back on a woman, such ingratitude, after she gave everything for him in the hope that when he became somebody one day in America, that he might turn his back and remember the person that stood with him when he was nobody and made him into a somebody. But you see, I've said this countless times and I'll continue to talk about this until somebody actually hears what I have to say. Until you have fixed your own life, you have no business trying to raise somebody up from the dumps, from the gutters, and trying to make something out of them. This nurse was just an up-and-coming professional. It's not like she was made of money. It's not like she has established herself. When you look at the place that she was, raining down all these curses on this young man, it wasn't anything to be desired or to write home about. So she herself was hustling and struggling herself. It beggars the question. Why did she not spend that 50,000 Ghana CDs, that 6,000 Canadian dollars, almost 5,000 US dollars, fixing her own life, getting herself a business, um, getting more training in her nursing profession, or actually aspiring herself to travel, to seek greener pastures for herself and her family, instead of investing all this money in such a huge risky venture that has now backfired in her face. You see, when you haven't fixed your own life, you cannot and you must not try to fix anybody else's. The Bible says, love your neighbor as you love your own self. You cannot help everybody else and smite your own self or bite your own nose to spite your face. 
This was a money that she had lying around. This was money that she actually borrowed. And when you listen to her and the enormity of the pain that she's talking about, she worked <laughs> all the hours God sent in order to even be in that financial position to be able to be given that loan which she trusted this young man with. You see, the way to really know what a human being, and this swings both ways, both men and women, the way to really know what a person is like <laughs> is when you give them money and or power or both. That is what really demonstrates what somebody actually is and what is in their heart. You know, the heart of man is desperately wicked. I've seen so many people describe humans as wicked animals. And sometimes when people bring the worst out of themselves, they behave like wicked animals, like beasts in the wild. This is exactly what this man has done to this young lady. There's a way that seemeth right unto a man or woman, <laughs> but the end is destruction. This is your boyfriend, <laughs> boyfriend, yeah, boyfriend. There are no ties, there's no commitment, there's nothing. Even if there is, <laughs> yeah, you should spend that money, your hard own hard-end money, with the adage that goes that money is blood, to fix your own self, yeah. Because when anything goes wrong, at least you know, you can satisfy yourself that you tried the best that you wanted to for your own self. You cannot try to save somebody else when you're sinking yourself. When you're in the middle of the deep sea trying to survive, that is no time to be throwing no live vest at anybody else trying to save them. Because sometimes, and a lot of the times, in your attempt to try to save them, they pull you down with them and you both sink and you drown when you could have saved your life. This is no selfishness. This is self-love. I have said this so many times. I continue to see these stories trending on social media, which just tells me that my sisters and my brothers that are still continuing to fall victims to this always think that, Oh, it happened to that person. This can never happen to me. And then before you know it, you're the next statistic on the table that everybody is talking about. So it can happen to you. It can and it does happen. I have not seen very many happy endings to such stories. You see, when people are down and out, they will pretend they would mask their behavior with anything. People <laughs> are wolves in sheep clothing when they have nothing. They will humble themselves. They will eat humble pie. They will lick your toes if they have to. Give them money. Yeah, give them an opportunity. Show them that other place. And all of a sudden, they've acquired taste. They suddenly recognize that you're not their kind of person. He said all kinds of horrific things to this woman that she goes to sleep around with other men and then get the money from them to bring to him after she slept around with other people. Then he she brings him the leftovers. Oh, yeah. But when he was down in the gutters and needed somebody to survive, the nurse and her leftovers was good enough for him. Women do it to men. In this case, a man is doing it to a woman. It happens time after time after time. If this woman had fixed her life, <laughs> we wouldn't be talking about the story today. So don't you ever think that your own situation is going to be any different from what has happened to the people that have been before you. Because there's just this principle of life with human beings that <laughs> a lot of the times when you give up everything, sacrifice everything for a person 99 percent of the time they thank you with the back of their hand yeah that is just human beings 
people don't remember. They soon forget where they've come from at that time when their fortunes turn around. So my darling, don't be fooled into thinking that your own situation is going to be any different because it ain't. If there's any opportunities to fix your life, take them and fix your own self real good. At least you can look back and say, whatever loans you took, whatever risk you took, you took them in an attempt to make your own life better. Don't let anybody, son or daughter, deceive you because of small swinging pendulums and apples that you're enjoying, <laughs> that they love you more than sense, that you lose all sense of reasoning and think that your own situation is going to be any different to what has happened to this young woman. She's losing her mind today because she's thinking about all this debt that she has to pay because it's her name that is next to it. It happens all the time. And now because of the, the severity and the enormity of what is going on, people are now res resorting to taking other people's lives from them because of that pain that they felt that people took advantage of them and treated them as if they were stupid just because of their so-called generosity. People try to holy size and bring God into situations that God was never involved in. Before you help somebody, actually seek counsel from the heavens. Is this something that you are agreeing that I do? Because not everybody is worthy of your help. And a lot of the time, going out there to try to help other people is what actually opens the window to your own distraction and demise. Think about what I've said clearly. Look at that nurse. Cute melody was not made of money. When you shake her, there's really nothing that's falling off. This woman has to work hard and pay back that loan with blood, sweat and tears. Whilst young Don gets to sail into the sunset in America with his newfound woman. That he's claiming he can have however many rounds whenever he wants with. If I were that young woman, I would run because young Don is now using this young woman because he still needs a footing in America. It's not as if as soon as you arrive in America, your fortunes are made and money falls from heaven like manna. Mm -mm. Don needs a footing. And so that woman in the, in the U.S. is the one that is warming him in his bed at night and providing him with the basic necessities of life but that woman that young girl whoever knows her should advise her that <laughs> it's only a matter of time as soon as he finds his feet and finds and figures out that he can do other things with himself with all the opportunities that are out there guess what he's gonna spit on her face just like she he has done to cute melody if I were that young girl, I would run a gazillion miles away from him because he's dangerous, he is wicked, vindictive, and very ungrateful. But now she's enjoying the swinging pendulum and she thinks that she's made. I am the one that got chosen over that other one in Ghana. Yeah, for now. Let's see what happens in a few short weeks, months, and years. Anybody who knows that guy <laughs> and who loves him, if he has a family, they better go in a piece, cute melody, and pay his debts. Because failing to do that means that karma, <laughs> karma would have its wings. Karma will take over and vengeance will repay him for the evil that she has done. Life is a balance, you know. You don't get to do things to people that are horrible and get away with it. Nature always catches up with you. The heavens always catch up with you. Though it may tarry, young Don 
if he really seriously did take that money from that woman and is making a mockery of her and saying that the gods of the lands of Africa don't travel across oceans, he will soon find himself begging and wishing he had never crossed paths with this young nurse. You see, in this life, all of us have a soul, but we also have spirits because we are all made from different backgrounds. What you may do to me and get away with, you may not do to the next person and get away with. Life <laughs> is a balance. And there is no art. I've said this, Macbeth, thank you so much. There is no art to tell the mind's construction in the face. On the face of it, Young Don thinks he's gotten away with what he's done. He's never going to pay anything. There's no remorse. He gets to sail into the sunset. Yeah, right. But it's only a matter of time. Before time and nature and life catches up with him. In a few short years, when he's forgotten what he did to cute Melody, when life has caught up with him and is dealing with him, when nothing he does succeeds, he will not understand. He'll probably go back in time and blame some poor grandmother of, her, of his or some family member for his demise. If he is lucky or fortunate enough, he might meet people who actually understand the rules that govern the world. And just maybe he would heed advice and go and make up for what he has done. The evil that men do live after them. Don't you ever think that you can take advantage of somebody's blood, sweat and tears and get away with it? It catches up with you. Oh, it catches up with you. And the fall is a mighty big fall. If you haven't heard anything I've said today, if you have any opportunities to have finances, any resources that can advance your own life and progress, honey, whether you're brother or sister, use that opportunity to better your own life, my love. It is not your job to fix somebody else's son or daughter. That is their parents' job. That is their own jobs if they're adults. It's not your job to fix anybody else's uh, life in the name of so-called love when you haven't fixed your own life and you're down in the dumps struggling to survive yourself. It's a very risky venture, one that I will absolutely never endorse anybody I know, love or care about to ever do in this life. Think about what I've said and learn the valuable lessons. My name has always been Sika, will always be Sika and Sika Educates. It's the platform that is changing lives through education, both formal and informal. If anything that I've said today, any of the videos make sense or you've learned a thing or two from, please, Share it on your personal profile pages because there's so many people that need to hear the sense in what I've just said so that they can make better informed decisions about their lives. Sika educates us on TikTok. It's on Instagram. It's on Twitter and it's on YouTube. If you love me, please go over to YouTube, Sika Educates. And just hit the subscribe button so that you can catch every single video that is uploaded on that platform. I really want you to help me propagate these messages to the masses. It doesn't have to be on Facebook alone. It could be on all the social media handles. And if I just got 10% of those of us on Facebook to move across to YouTube to subscribe, you guys would have helped me so much. God richly bless you for doing that to support me. Tap Tap Send is a, an up and coming up that uh, all of us that are in the diaspora used to send remittances to our loved ones back home. Download the, the app if you haven't done so already on your Android or Apple device, iPhone, whatever you have. 
use the promo code AKUSIKA Akusika for the very first transaction. Don't forget that. So that you get the extra $15 if you live in the Canada's or the, U the United States of America to send to your family. Additional $15, but it's only on the first transaction. So don't forget to use the promo code on that first transaction, A-K-U-S-I-K-A, -A, and get the extra to send to your family. If you live in Europe, it's five euros. If you live in England, in the UK, it's five pounds. Do this and you'd support me. Help me help you bring more authentic content for you to consume. Finally, if you want one-to-one -to -one conversations and discussions that are going to elevate you, I do offer coaching services to anybody that wants anything personal development related, be it relationships, be it growing yourself as a person with your career, your business, and anything to do with your emotional well-being. Yeah. Sika Educates is the place. www.sikaeducates.com Book yourself a session and come, let's have a conversation. I love you so much and I want to actually see people succeeding and thriving in 2023 and beyond. God richly bless you. Bye-bye.